Hey guys, and welcome back to more Danger by Design. We are here in the park, and we are hopefully going to buy stuff from peeps. A vendor. Okay, that's probably not how you pronounce that. Um, I don't know if any of these things... I sell fine things from around the world. The others here, they sell things which I pry from the muck of their basements. Okay, let's see what you got. Okay, um... I think that we need to visit the muck of people's basements stuff. I guess I'm just not in a buying mood. When you come back, maybe then I have what you like. I'll remember that. Merci. Au revoir. All right, let's check out some of these other places. Cause we need things that are more dirty and plasticky, I think. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Like this, the traffic cone. You have come to the right place. What captures the eyes? Well, <laughs> I just like how they they have completely random stuff here. Does this cost very much? The traffic cone is one of my family. So colorful and so useful. With it, I myself learned to park my car parallel. And I ask only 10 euro for it. Let's see if we can negotiate down. Would you take 8 euros for it? It is yours. Alright. See anything else you like? Um, that's, I think, it. I mean, I guess the can could be... No, 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 no. Let's just stick with the traffic cone. Actually, I don't see anything else. Here, yeah, new things come and old things go all the time. You must come back. I might just do that. Au revoir. Au revoir, mademoiselle. I just love how these places have completely random things. Like, there's nothing in common. That's interesting. I wonder if this is a clue for something, or if it's just a cool sculpture. What is this? Hey! Not even bad. Is there anything in there? Oh. I thought maybe that grate might lead to something. Alright, anything else? There's something in the middle there. Are there only two vendors? Or three vendors? This guy looks... Oh, here we go. Bonjour, Marchand, de Vercasavius. Bonjour, Monsieur Marchand. American tourist? Sort of. Is that okay? I like Americans. They are smart. I sell good stuff as they can tell. So, what are you going to do? Hey, wait a second. This is the, the arm of the, the thing from the haunted carousel, right? This definitely looks good. You're selling a manhole cover? It is a genuine Parisian manhole cover, one which would make a fine souvenir for someone back home. And it is only a 45 euro. Let's see if we can get 34. I'd rather give you 34 euros for it. Bon Dieu. Oh good, we got what it. Tickles the fancy. What else tickles the fancy? I'm tempted to go for the can, but or maybe this. Is this like a real? What's in here? A movie? Oui, it contains an American short film. I'm not sure if it is about the beloved beast of burden in Tibet or about someone who talks a lot, but it has won many awards. As a fact that it is in a nice blue canister makes it well worth 84 euro. Um, let's just. I'll take you. Give you one euro. <laughs> Into movies or blue canisters, so I pass. What is tickles the fancy? I think that's it for now. I really don't want to buy anything right now. By any chance, does Mademoiselle wish to earn some money? Maybe. How? The tourists, uh, they like to buy half painted reproductions of famous works of art. But as you can see, it is difficult for me to paint them. I can but see that? A young woman such as you, it is easy. You want me to paint the reproductions? You see, the lines are already... Oh, it's a coloring you book. Painting, you put paint on your brush, you paint between the lines, voila! A painting which you throw us with gabble up. And I pay you 15 euro for each one you complete. Do you wish to start now? Okay, I've learned my lesson from Secret of the Old Clock. I'm gonna just go ahead and do a few of these now, just in case. Definitely. But of course. But of course. All right, let's start the Mona Lisa here. So I wonder if we're going to paint something different every time or the same thing. This looks more like this shade here. Uh, is it though? It looks darker than that. What about this? 
That looks like it's too light, though. I'm just going to stick with that for now. Skin is definitely this color. That's... Let me see how that looks. Yeah, that... This is probably correct. I think that's that's the right way, way to do that. Alright, so let's do brown for this part. This color for that part. There, now let's do the black sections. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. There we go. Uh, so brown is for the eyes as well. And that also that very light grayish color. Is it brown brown or brown reddish? Alright, so let's get some of this lighter brown, or brown reddish stuff. Wait a minute, I wanted to paint here. There we go. Let's do that. That looks good. Um, yeah, this is definitely looking right. That's good, that's good. Just like playing in Microsoft Paint, right? It's not too bad. There we are. Uh, let's do some more brown out here. And now we get a bunch of green stuff. And there we go. I think this is everything. Monsieur, how's this? Magnifique. You have Magnifique. I'll reward you. Do you wish to paint another? Maybe later on. Not right now. Maybe later. Very well. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Au revoir. I'm just trying to remember, were, were all the things in Minette's spring collection thing, were they all round? So I'm wondering if that's the common denominator. Bonjour, mademoiselle. What captures their eyes this time? Well, let's see. Yeah, okay, so he still has the same stuff. Come back soon. Perhaps I will have new things. Okay. Au revoir. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Because they all look very, like, er not earthy, but just very much like things you would find in, like, a dirty place. Cannot stay away. This is good. What do you like? Yeah, see, none of these things really stick out. I mean, if it's round stuff we're supposed to go after, then maybe this counts? I'm gonna get this. You're selling a wheel from a kitty car? With imagination, that wheel can be put to many uses. Which is why the price is 35 euros. I want to get at least one thing from each vendor, so let's get this one. I'll give you 26 euros for it. Voila. All right. So it seems like negotiating with the, f the closest option is pretty safe. Guess I'm just not in the buying mood. Next time I have what you want. Sounds good. Au revoir. Au revoir. All right. Man, I should just find a bunch of junk and sell it here in the park. That'd be fun. Um, is there anything else here? I feel like I should be able to look at some of this other stuff, but I guess not. All right, so let's go back to the windmill. To Abesses. Or to Abesses. I'm going to say Abesses. That sounds pretty cool. Abesses. All right, Minette's House of Design. Hey, Minette. If you need to talk to Minette, good luck. She's playing that ridiculous online game she's obsessed with and refuses to do anything else until she gets the highest score. It is so aggravating. Minette is obsessing over something? What? Minette. Minette. Hello, Minette. Shh. Okay. Okay, yeah, these all look round. Okay, I should go out and get roundy things. Alright. I, I need to go back to the park. So, let's talk to Heather about this online game stuff. What's up? Minette is so into that online game, she won't even talk to me. Tell me about it. To have any chance of meeting her deadlines, she has to keep working. But there she is, mesmerized once again by that silly game. Wait a minute. How good are you at computer games? I love playing games. Not too bad. I stink at them. But if somebody could get online, play that stupid game and get the highest score while pretending to be her, she wouldn't know the difference and we could all get back to work. Anyway, it would be worth a shot. Wait, that would actually work? 
I don't know. If I were obsessing over this, I would think that I would know if I didn't actually do what I was hoping to do. Thanks for your help. Have fun. Okay, so I'm wondering if maybe Sunny June's notebook has like a a uh, login for her cuz it sounds like the kind of thing that Sunny would would mention. Like he would try to find that that kind of thing out. Meanat. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh more dead flowers for me, Nat. Yeah, I don't see a, a thing here. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. I'm going to take a picture. I have my phone now. I need to take a picture of the thing. Over. Wait, what was that? Oh, that's just like an alien taking over Minette, I guess. Or maybe Sunny's trying to prove that Minette is an alien. That would explain everything. Minette is trying to cover up her alien face by wearing a mask. Alright, I think we solved the mystery, guys. We totally solved the mystery. Minette is secretly an alien, and she's trying to take over the world by infiltrating the arena of high fashion. So will Heather say something here when we log in? Do you happen to know what Minette's login is? Yeah. I'm afraid I have no idea. Oh. Okay. Well, that's not happening right now, I guess. Also, I need to give Heather the envelope and stuff, so let's do that. Forget something? Here's that envelope I picked up from JJ. I almost forgot. No problem. And we can ask her about being a fashion designer. Do you work for Manette because you want to be a fashion designer too? Well, I studied at Rhode Island School of Design and Central St. Martin's in London. So I kind of like to think that I already am a fashion designer. I work for Manette mostly so I can develop some contacts and get a feel for the business end of things. Yeah, that's a pretty good approach. Networking is always valuable. When do you think you'll be ready to go off on your own? I don't know. Heather, my pencil's missing. It was right here and now it's gone. You walked off with it again. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I'm telling you, it's not here. Did you check behind your ear? <laughs> when Minette fires me, that's when I'll go off on my own. And as you just heard, that could be any day now. Alrighty. Well, I'll see you later. Have fun! Okay, so that's about it for that. I'm gonna see if I can fix the plotter. Let me see what I can do about this. So I'm wondering if what I have to do is I have to just do all the combinations of squares that are in Sunny's notebook. Let's see if that works. I'm going to do 1, 2, and 5. Or 1, 2, 1, sorry. And then 2, 1, 5, 3, 5, 4, 4, 4, 3. And then what appears to be 5, 3, 2. Okay. A, B, C, D. Cool. Oh. Nancy, get the phone. All right, where's the phone? Oh, right. Nancy, if you don't get that phone, you're fine. Bonjour, Minette's Whew, that was close. Bonjour, my name is Lynn Manrique. I'm with the Modern History Department at UC Kearns in the States, and I'm following up on the letter I sent to Minette about two weeks ago concerning Noisette Tornade. Noisette Tornade? It's that historian person, isn't it? Sounds like it. Tell her we're sorry, but Minette is extremely busy and won't be able to get back to her for at least six weeks. I'm sorry, but... I heard. Well, six weeks it is, then. Thank you, anyway. Oh, good. We do have Hugo Butterly's phone number. That's nice. All right. Whew. Man, the game is throwing all kinds of stuff to make us die. That is crazy. Okay, so what were we doing? We were experimenting with this, weren't we? Oh, is that it? Was that all I had to do? I guess I only had to do one of those? That's interesting. Okay, so I guess we're done. That's a relief. Where was that to-do list, anyway? I know we had a to-do list around here. Here we go. Can we mark things off? Alright, so we did that, we did that, we did that. Okay, we've done everything. Okay, so that is good news. So at this point, what should we do now? Hmm. I know we had something to do and I forgot. Oh, that's right. We need to go back and 
Well, first we need to find out Manette's login. And then we need to go back and get those round things, because I think round things is actually the, the common denominator. Oh wait, we just went outside. Okay, well, in that case, you know what, let's go ahead and go get round things. Might as well go ahead and get it. It makes sense, because we've been hearing about how Minette likes curvature, so it would definitely fit within what we know about her, that she likes roundy things. What is this? The memory of the French fighters. 1940 through 5? This looks like a combination lock. Not like a... a uh, oh, not a gravestone, but like a, a normal inscription on one of those. I'm not going to get the um, the spoon because that has some sharp points. How much are you selling the green rings for? They are green magic rings. They cost 15 euros. Oh, I, I totally stand corrected. Green magic rings. How about 11 euros? Voila. All right. What else do you like? I think that's it. Guess I'm just not in a buying mood. Next time I have what you want. Sounds good. Au revoir. Au revoir. All right, so let's go over here to this guy here. Is it a guy or gal? I think it's a guy. Wait. Yeah, I think it's a guy. So, this is definitely going to be picked up. How expensive is this bowling ball? Orange is my favorite color. 80 euros. Well, let's try to talk him down. That's a little pricey. How about 60 euros? It is yours. All right. See anything else you like? There's this can here, but it's got stuff in it that's not really round, it looks like. Yeah, let's let's not get that. There's also a lava lamp, but I don't know. I'm gonna leave the lava lamp. Actually, I don't see anything else. Come back soon. Perhaps I will have new things. Okay. Au revoir. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Alrighty. Let's go back to the paint guy here. Bonjour, mademoiselle. We're definitely gonna get the two items here at the top. Well, let's see. How much did you say yak costs? For you. That's a lot of money. How about 63 euros? Bandu. All right. What else tickles a fancy? What else tickles a fancy? You never have too many of these, I guess. It is an excellent coffee can. I practically give it to you for seven euros. What if I offered you five euros for it? Bandu. All right. What else tickles a fancy? I think that's it. I really don't want to buy anything right now. I get new things all the time. You must come back. I may just do that. Goodbye. Au revoir. I wonder if we're going to have to come back on multiple occasions. Oh, wow. We barely have money. I wonder if we're going to have to come back on multiple occasions and he's going to have new things. Or Manette's going to have new things that we need to, to look for. That would be interesting. I don't think we went over here last time. Wait. Monique. Okay, Monique is a woman's name, so I think that's a woman. Alright. Let's go ahead and head back to... Oh, Dad made me promise not to go anywhere by myself after dark. Oh. This will have to wait until tomorrow. Okay. Well, I guess we're going back home to JJ. And have some cookies for dinner. Uh. Oh, are we going... What's going on here? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was wondering what was going on with that. Alright, day two. So this goes by days then. That's cool. So at least we know when we're making progress. That's really helpful. Oh, goody, you're back. I'm really bored. Let's play hangman. You know how to play, right? You know, JJ, you need to invest in some awesome board games. I, I've got some recommendations for you. Hangman? <laughs> well, yeah, sure. Great. Okay, I'll think of a six-letter word, and you try to guess what it is. Ready? All right. Ready. Let's start with some common letters. N. All right, Correct. that's good. T. Nope. Sorry. Uh. S. S. Nope. R. Oh my. No. Let's go with vowels. E. Okay. Right you are. C. Right you are. Fencer? No, it can't be. F 
Let's go D. D. Nope. Uh, let's try F. Well, hang on a second. What letters could be that first letter? Um, yeah, let's start with F. F. Nope. I wonder how far this is going to go. Like, am I going to lose as soon as the la the other foot is there? Or is there going to be like a rope and a bunch of other stuff going on? Is this an English word or a, a French word, by the way? I should have asked that. If I, I don't know if I could have asked that. Okay, let's think over here. O? O. No. Oopsie. What was the answer? Oh, okay, we're still going. Okay, that that's good. I? I. There we go. Oh, pencil. Pencil. P. Correct. L. You won. All right. Uh, yeah, one more time wouldn't hurt. Sure. All right, another six-letter word. Let's start with the common letters. N. Bingo. All right. E. Bingo. It's not pencil again, is it? C. Is it? That's a winner. P. <laughs> That's a winner. JJ, come on. I. You can't do that. That's a winner. L. You won. <laughs> again? Um, is it going to be the same word again? Sure. You've got to be kidding. P. Okay, there we go. That that's more like it. N. Nope. Oopsie. S. S. Nope. T. There we go. Bingo. E. Okay, Rock so T are. and E. I watched a lot of Wheel of Fortune growing up, so I think I know a few things about. Okay, it can't be tongue. A. A. Nope. O. O. No. Nope. I. I. There we go. Bingo. Uh, now what could this be? It can't be tingle because there's no G there. Um. D. Nope. Tickle. Let's try that. L. L. All right. That's a winner. C. Bingo. K. You won. All right. No thanks. Anytime you want to play, just let me know. Okay, so this can be a nice distraction. I'll be back in a bit. Ciao, Bella. Ciao, Bella. I wish we could eat some of the cookies. I want some of the JJ's cookies. I'm sure they smell amazing, even though I'm not physically there in real life. Can I go into Nancy's room? Oh! Oh, so you can actually go to the next day. How many days can you can you do that? Like, is there a t there, there can't be a time limit because there's never really a time limit in these games. All right, I'm gonna head back to Abesses or Abesses because we got to discover what's going on with the uh, the password. And I want to give Minette all of her things that she wanted, so let's try that. Oh. Bonjour, Minette's House of Design. Bonjour, est-ce que c'est Eva? This is Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew. Oh my, that name is familiar. Oh! I know who this is. Nancy Drew. This is going to drive me mad. It's Prudence Rutherford, right? May I ask who this is? Prudence Rutherford. Prudence Rutherford? Oh, shoot. I know you. I talked to you when I was working at the Beach Hill Museum in Washington, D.C. Yeah. And Nancy Drew, remember? You sent me a copy of your fire ruby necklace. You know, the one that had been stolen. Oh, good heavens, yes, of course, Nancy Drew. Why, as I understand it, it was largely because of your investigatory prowess that my real necklace was recovered soon thereafter. What on earth is a nascent detective like you doing answering the telephone for Minette? Get down from there. Excuse me, dear. Nancy, tell her the designs, designs are done and will be shipped to her by the end of the week. Oh, then go to the work table and finish them. You want me to finish them? The instructions are all right there. Piece of cake. <laughs> Sounds like she's got cat issues. Oh. 
I guess it's not a cat. I was just about to tell you that I'm working for Manette because I'm interested in fashion design. Fashion design? You? Yes. See, the more I learned about the way ancient Maya dressed, the more interested I became in how modern people dress. Yeah, that's <laughs> not an explanation. Yes, well, in any case, we'll be sending you the finished designs for the ensemble very shortly. Wonderful! I'm sure they're going to knock my socks off and blow me away, as you young people like to say. Alright, so we're going to make Prudent Rutherford's dress over here. Apparently the instructions are right where we need them. But I don't know where that is. Uh, is that inside Manette's area? Manette? Alright, never mind. Uh, over here? Nope. Alright, her interactive, you heard me. If you need a replacement voice for Prudence Rutherford, you know where to find me, alright? Where can I do the stuff? I want to make this this thing. I'm having a hard time finding things here in the Mulan. Alright, let's look around here again. There's got to be a clue about Minette's login around here, too. Wait, is that a login? I can't really see what that says. I guess not. I can't use the plotter. Can I go in there in the corner? Evidently not. Oh, is this it? Are the designs I'm supposed to finish for Prudence Rutherford under here? You got it. Okay. Alright, so this is a note to Sunny from Minette. Sunny, I've selected the clothing and accessories for Prudence Rutherford, but forgot about her rules for each season's outfits. Please read through them and assemble the correct outfit. Start with summer, and then move on to cruise, and then fall season. The outfit should include something for the head, face, bottom, top, feed, and an accessory for or an accessory to hold. Also, Prudence firmly believes that patterns or prints not be considered as colors for her rules. When you've correctly assembled an outfit, Heather will tell you right away. If she ignores you, you didn't make it right. M. Alright. So I'm not going to read all this stuff here. Um. This is so, so you, Prue. Himalayan yak, yak hair. Oh, hey! Shadow Ranch boots. Okay, I'm not very good at, at uh, coordinating clothes and stuff. First thing I need to do is flip up this plastic sheet. Flip up the plastic sheet? Oh, okay. Okay, here's a note from Prudence. Summer is my least favorite season, but one must look smashing at all times. And these dog days, I could be sporty, tranquil, domestic, capricious, and professional. So please consider the following for my outfit design. I need chromatic consistency. Three pieces of clothing must be of the same color. No purses. I cannot be bothered with this formality during summer. Nothing white, blonde, or yellow. Give me color and radiance. I want my feet to be furry. I've maintained my youthful looks all these years and need at least some sort of sun protection on my body. No patterns and no leather, please. Rain gear would be completely inappropriate for this ensemble. To reflect the arboreal growth, I need green on my legs and head. All right. So, no yellow, no rain gear, so that's going to eliminate this. No, no, no. I want to put these to the side. Can I do that? I just want to put them away. Oh. All right. So, she wants green. Let me look here. Three pieces of clothing must be the same person. So, no purses, 
No white, yellow stuff. Furry feet. Okay. And sun protection. Okay. Green on my legs and head. All right. So that's going to be there. And head. That must be that. Okay. Excellent. All right. So her feet need to be furry, huh? Are those the shadow ranch boots? I think they are. So that's not furry. Um, can I look at the, the stuff in the previous pages? I guess I can't. All right, so give her some sunglasses there. Uh, no purses. What is this? There we Wait, is that a purse? Does that count as a purse? I'm going to assume it does. Yeah, and that's kind of yellowish too, so I'm not sure that's appropriate. Um, three pieces of clothing need to be the same color? Alright, well we've got green on her legs and her head, which she wanted. So, that just seems really odd for sh summer shoe wear, footwear. Three pieces of the clothing must be the same color. Well, this has green in it. That just looks weird. I don't know. That. Wait, do we have any like hand-related things? Like, uh... hmm, white, blonde, or yellow? Furry, sun protection. We got sunglasses, and we got a hat. No patterns and no leather. Oh. That eliminates that that top. That's not going to work. Okay. I feel like this is a weird choice for summer, but... Well... That might be good. Maybe. I want to, to give her some more green, because we need more green, right? I guess we could give her that. I don't know. That that has yellow in it though. Oh wait, I can give her a tennis racket. That's that's good for summer, right? Yeah, check that out. I like how she's like balancing the tennis racket on her thigh there. That looks kind of cool. Wait, this is a pattern, right? That that's not going to work. I don't like those glasses. That looks strange. I I know I'm not thinking of her tastes here. I'm just kind of going by what looks good to me, but I don't know. This is no. What am I missing here, guys? I want to look back at the stuff here. All right, summer cruise and then fall. Fa head face. Bottom, top, feet, and an accessory to hold. Alright, so patterns and prints are not colors. Alright, let me just make sure I understand. Okay, that is a purse. Okay. That's leather, which she doesn't want for summer. Green galoshes. Okay, so that's not furry. That's furry. That's yak here. Um... Yeah, that's leathery things. Yellow knee-ups. Furry... Wait a minute. What is this? There's a different furry thing. Sense of whimsy. That's a boa. Okay, purse. Okay. I just want to make sure I reviewed all that. Alright, so let's start. So, she, again, she wanted... Um, green on my legs and head. Okay. Perfect. So, green on her legs and head. Head, face. So, let's give her the, the sunglasses. That seems appropriate for this. No rain gear, no yellow stuff, no purses. So, I'm going to give her the tennis racket to hold since she needs an accessory. So, let me look at the shoes here again. I'm assuming those are the yak boots. Unless these are the... Because those are the green galoshes. Are these the other furry things? I'm going to assume those are the other furry things. 
Oh, wait, that that's a dress. Pfft, my bad. Okay, what top should she wear? This one? Alright, so we needed f six things, right? So there's two furry footwear things. Is this the other furry thing? I think this was the other furry thing, not the elf shoes. Those look like elf shoes, like the ones that Buddy the Elf wears. Alright. Um, was there any guidance for the top? Because I feel like that's... Hmm. Rain gear would be completely inappropriate. So that eliminates this. What is this thing? We're not going to use it because it's yellow. Let's try that. That looks cool. I like that. Is that not good? I guess that's not good. Where does this... Or is this like a head thing? Oh, that's a thing you hold. See, I think... Wait. Cruise. You you would play tennis on a cruise, right? I'm just trying to think of what she would carry on a cruise. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to stick with a racket. That looks pretty... That looks pretty cool. Green on my legs and head. I want my feet to be furry. So do you want this part of you to be furry too? No. What in the world? Is that a mask? What? I am really confused about the context in which that thing would be worn. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty bad at this, in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> we, we know that these are out, because this is leather. So that's, that's a thing. These are out because they're yellow. See, maybe this is for the clues, uh, the clues, the cruise, because this is like swimwear. So three things need to be, all right, I'm going to try putting these on. And then slap on some stuff. Nope. Nope. I'm just going to guess here. This is a pattern, so I don't think that counts. Yeah, no patterns and no leather. Yeah. Um. So I'm going to assume that this is wrong. So let's put on the, the furry here. What is the third green thing, then? Is there an accessory here that's green that's not a purse? Because she needs three green things. And this, these boots and then the these boots here are the, the furry boots, right? Okay, what are the elf shoes? I, I need to look at that. I am so lost. Yellow knee-ups. That's not it. That's not shoes. Here we go. Elf shoes. Okay, yeah. They're actually called elf shoes. Okay. There's nothing under this stuff, is there? Doesn't look like it. I have a feeling that once we use some of these things, this is going to be a lot easier. Some sun protection. Yeah, the sunglasses just make too much sense for that. Alright, so furry feet. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with the tennis rackets. And professional. No purses. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so rain gear, I'm going to keep the, the sunglasses because that's the opposite of rain gear. I don't know what's going on here. I wish I knew what top to give her. Wait, this one. I still don't know the, the answer to how to get three green things other than giving her the elf shoes. Because the gouaches are for rain, so that's not gonna that that doesn't make any sense. And this is a 
this and this, and I'm assuming this count as patterns. So that's not going to work either. Let me give her that again. All right, what am I just not seeing here, guys? I know I'm not seeing something. I really wish I could move some of this stuff around. All right, green here, green there. Is there a green piece of eyewear then? Because I'm not seeing it if there is. Unless, unless the other color is supposed to be white, and that's like this, this, and this. But that's not correct either, apparently. And she specifically said green on her legs and head. And head, I'm assuming, is the top of the head. So not the face, but the head. Right? Hmm. Three pieces of clothing. So, clothing would not include a tennis racket. So that, that can't be correct. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. That, that looks cool in a strange kind of way. Maybe we're supposed to get a different accessory here. Let's try, what is this? Is that a cane or something? I, I have no idea what that is. That's a purse, so that doesn't count. That's rain gear, that's a purse. Uh, do, 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 do. Because these all have white in them, so this has got to be this, the color that we need. I hope that's that's correct. I mean, here we go. No? What? Boas are really, really cool, Prudence. Come on. I feel like we can at least eliminate a bunch of stuff here because, yeah, bows would probably go in, on top of her head. Eh, I am not seeing anything else, guys. Is this shorts? Yeah, those are shorts. But she needs green on her legs. And the only green leg thing is going to be this. She also wants her feet to be furry. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. I New idea time. Maybe it's pink, and we got to make these other things pink. Like this. And then give her the sunglasses. Let's try this. Looks yeah! Good. Woo! All right. So now we've got another one. My cruise wear must... Oh, no, no. <clears throat> my cruise wear must speak to my aura and challenge the boring and pretentious mindsets one often encounters in these arbitrary but necessary meetings of my peers. No skirts! I want to show as much skin as possible. Must not include any clothing or accessories from my summer outfit. No jeans. It's so, so last year. My head and face must be consistently themed. No primary colors are yellow. They don't reflect well in the sea. To reflect my environment, I need one item that's tropical. Nothing black. I want to be seen. All right. Oh, so we do get the other stuff, but we can't use it. So that, that kind of helps. So no skirts. Uh, she wants to show as much skin, so this will probably help with that. Um, no jeans. Head and face must be consistently themed. Okay. And a tropical thing. Let's go and put the pineapple dealio there. Um, hmm. No primary colors are yellow. Well, orange is not a primary color, so we can do that. That's yellow, so that's not going to work. What about footwear? Does this... That seems wrong for a tropical thing. But, I mean, the other options at this point don't seem to make any sense unless... Okay, for the sake of argument, is green considered a primary color here? Because most of the time when you say primary colors, you're referring to red, um, 
blue and yellow. But this says no primary colors or yellow. And I know sometimes primary colors are referred to as red, green, and blue. So, yeah, I'm not sure. All right, head and face must be consistently themed. How old is Prudence Rutherford, anyway? Like, I always imagine that she was really, like, elderly or something, based on that voice, but if this is what she's supposed to look like, then she's a lot younger than I thought. All right, how about that? That looks kind of cool. And... Well, she wants to show as much skin as possible, so maybe that's not right. Maybe she... Wait, this is jeans. That's not going to work. Uh, do we have any shorts that are not this? Yeah, I, I'm assuming they're calling that out because those are technically jean shorts. Or at least they look like denim. Wait, this is yellow. Never mind. I guess you could say that's orange, right? I mean, I suppose. Hmm. That could be good. That was included in the previous outfit. Um, head and face. Okay, let's look at the face and head options. There is this black stuff here. We already used the sunglasses, though, so I don't think that's it. But I can't use primary colors, and I'm assuming that red and yellow are both considered primary colors. Wait a second. We can get the bunny thing there. There we go. Okay, so that should help with that. That is cool. So now, nothing black. Okay, so that eliminates some things. Uh, huh. I wonder... Can we get the uh, the white things here? Good job! Nice! Okay, that actually worked. Okay, so now for the fall outfit. For my fall ensemble, I want something dashing but a bit reserved. Something funky but not upstaging. To wit, please consider and do not deviate from my wishes. If my outfit contains something black, it must also contain something with white. The clothing I wear as a top cannot be a single color. No red for fall. There's plenty of beautiful red in the trees. A boa would be completely inappropriate for the season. While it can be rainy in Kansas, I insist that I only have one piece of rain gear in this ensemble. Nothing sporty. No dark sunglasses and nothing with braids. No clothing or accessories that would make me think of animals or plants. Black or white is okay, but should not appear above the neckline. It is chilly in Topeka, so please, no short sleeves or short pants. Okay. That is a lot of stuff to consider. So, something with black must also contain white. I'm going to assume that that means this. Right? Uh, black or white is okay, but should not appear above the neckline. So... Hmm... Are there any other black or white things? One piece of rain gear. No red. Okay, what other rain gear? Is this an umbrella? It looks like a cane almost. I Or a gun. That doesn't look like an umbrella exactly. So, no animals or plants. So, this is not, this is out. I'm assuming that everything else we've used is out, right? I mean, considering that we've got all these options. Um, do, 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 do. No dark sunglasses and nothing with braids, so that eliminates that. I feel like this is kind of a little vague. Eh... Uh, Nothing sporty. What is considered sporty here? I feel like that's... Oh, wait, that's a plant. Never mind. 
Sorry. That's red, so that's out. See, I really don't want to use any of the other things, but I don't know. One piece of rain gear. Okay, what other rain gear are there? Because I'm hesitant to count that. Oh, galoshes, right? That That's a rain gear. All right, so that takes care of the boots. This looks... Oh, wait, we used that on the cruise, didn't we? Eh... Eh, that? Wait. No, because that's just white by itself. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what kind of pants we should give her here. So I'm assuming this covers rain gear. And this is a black purse with white stuff, so... That is a thing. Uh, this is braided, so that's not going to work. But you know what? Maybe this... Come on, let me grab that. There we go. Maybe this will work. That looks nice. Hmm. I suppose I could also give her this, because this looks a little bit thicker. And I feel like this, yeah, this qualifies as, whoops, no, 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 I didn't mean to do that, sorry. Yeah, that's, this is a short sleeve, so I need to give her that. So give her that, that. All right, I'm a little less sure about the head stuff. I, I can't put anything that's black or white above the neckline, right? And... No short sleeves or short pants. Can I give her that again? That just looks really strange. That doesn't coordinate very well, I don't think. That that looks better. I, I, I think that those colors are a little bit more matchy. That, that That's totally a word. Uh, that... I need to give her something for her face. Maybe this? No? Okay, so what's wrong with this? Like, what's the problem here? I'm trying to figure out what's... Because I don't actually have to have black or white. I've got a multicolored top. There's no red. No boas. Only have one piece of rain gear. So maybe this is an umbrella. Maybe that counts as an umbrella somehow. This? Nope. Hmm. Nothing sporty. Okay, what's... Is there anything sporty here? I don't see anything sporty. No plant or animal things. Huh. I really don't know. This is... This is odd. Um... Yeah, so I'm pretty sure it's this because this is not short-sleeved and it's more than one color. The only other option is something that has plants on it. So that's that's not happening. This? Well, that's there we go. All three outfits are ready for you to send to Prudence. Good job. All right. And I'm going to call it there because we have been going on for a while. So next time, I'm going to see if I can find Minette's login. So until then, guys, thanks so much for watching. And I'll cut you on the flip side!